all that glitters are not gold and that can be made by using electro plating and electroless plating and today topic is the sixth topic in the corrosion unit you can find my previous videos in my channel the link was provided in the description so already these things are explained in the last topic but i let me remember these things so when the metal interact with the corrosive atmosphere then only metal involved in corrosion if you keep a metal in vacuum it never involved in corrosion by making protective surface a uh, layer you can protect the metal by keeping the by avoiding the contact between the metal and atmospheres so that is called protective layer or surface coating the contact between the base metal and this corrosive environment is to be cut off this can be done by forming a continuous layer with coat metal on the surface of the base metal the such type of coatings are called surface coatings but paints can easily spread out over the metals but metals on the metals is very difficult for that purpose a specific methods is there we already discussed the a hard dipping method in the last session today we are going to discuss a new method that is called electro plating and electro less plating before going to that base metal means on which coating occurs here so this is the uh, then which coating is occurs is called base metal so this is the base metal here and by whom by which a coating occurs by which coating occurs this is called this layer green layer is called coat metal okay so electro plating so nothing but coating of coat metal over the surface of base metal by using direct current is called electro plating just simple coating with with help of electricity is called electro plating so you can see a definition coating of coat metal on the surface of base metal by passing direct electric current through an electrolytic solution is called electro plating so here we already known at anode always oxidation takes place that means losing of electrons at cathode reduction takes place so we are using electricity by using electricity mean it is a electrolytic reaction we already learned in the electrochemistry when you are using electricity to do a chemical reaction that type of reactions is called electrolytic cells so your anode is there cathode is there so an electrolytic cell cathode is connected to battery at cathode reduction takes place and cathode is signed by negative sign it is electrolytic cell so you can compare with the electrochemical cell electrochemical cell in electrochemical cell anode is negative but is electrolytic cell it is reversible cell reverse cell that mean it is a anode is positive and cathode is negative but always at anode oxidation takes place at cathode reduction takes place and we are also having electrolyte how we can make electro plating by using this electrolytic cell so if you see the electrolytic solution for example you want to make a silver coating on copper or iron metal for example take a copper metal so you have a copper metal but you want to make it a silver coating silver is a very shiny one it's look attractive that's why you want to make it as a silver coating on copper metal okay so your copper is the base metal right which metal has to be coated is called copper so that is called anodic that is called base metal right so copper is a base metal next silver is a coat metal that's why silver is a coat metal and we need to take silver ions that mean coat metal ions always take it as a electrolyte that is that is the first condition coat metal ions should be taken as a electrolyte okay and base metal always taking as a cathode and it should be connected to negative terminal of the battery so here three conditions is there the first condition is the electrolyte electrolyte should be coat metal ion okay and base metal it should be taken in as a cathode and it should be connected to negative terminal of the battery and coat metal taking as a an anode and it should be connected to positive terminal of the battery if you follow these three conditions your work will be done okay so what are the conditions one is base metal always act as a cathode and it should be connected to negative terminal of the battery okay so next um, coat metal coat metal that mean it should be taken as a an anode and it should be connected to positive terminal of the battery and electrolyte is a 
coat metal ions so az is the coat metal az plus ions az plus ions are the electrolyte okay these are the conditions so what will happen here when you pass the electricity when you pass the electricity that mean you are passing you are connecting negative terminal to cathode so you are passing electrons here so electron density increases over the copper metal it is fully negatively charged so what it can do when you ag plus ag no3 it is in the form of ions ag plus c is there ag plus is a cation cations are attracted by the so cations these are the cation ag plus ag plus is cations are attracted by the cathode why because cathode is fully negative charge negative charge attracts the ag plus ions when the ag plus approaches to cathode it gives the one electron so why because it has a abundant with the electron so it gives the one electron it finally converting into az metal that az metal deposit over the copper so then the coating is completed so you can see here so only thing is first uh, yeah, another example you want to make a copper coating over the iron so this is the iron metal so this is the iron metal so you want this is the base metal okay you want to make a coating with copper right so you should take a copper sulfide that means copper plus 2 plus CuSO4 copper plus 2 ions okay so why because copper is a coat metal copper plus 2 is a coat metal ion coat metal ion is a copper plus 2 and coat metal is a copper and it is anode connected to positive terminal and base metal is base metal is iron iron is connected to negative terminal the battery when you apply electricity electrons is coming see here electrons is coming so cu plus is attracted by the cough iron and cu plus 2 is converting into copper that copper is deposited over the iron that's why iron rod is color is changing here so this is the method like that you can coat any metal on any other metal not only copper and iron silver and gold whatever whatever you want to coat that metal can be a coat on your desired metal by passing electricity only condition is that both metals should be conduct electricity if it is not conducting electricity you cannot apply this method so this is the method so all glitters are not gold so we, we already know one gram gold like these things ornaments so many ornaments and household purpose silver coated uh, ornaments these are, are the coating only not pure material pure silver or gold materials is this can be done by using electroplating methods so electroplating method depending on the coat metal you can coat different metals for example if you take silver metal you need to take electrolyte as a silver thiocyanate that means silver az plus ions if you take a coat metal as a copper you need to take copper sulfide as a coat metal ion if you take nickel nickel sulfide like that when you take depending on the coat metal you should take its own ions electrolyte okay so this this process is not applicable for non-conducting metal and coating the quality of coating depending on the how much temperature you are applying at that time how much voltage you are applying how much time you are doing the process and how the co concentration of electrolyte these are the uh, decide the quality and thickness of the coating so generally the thin layers thin layers are very good uh, effectively works and effectively protect material from the corrosion if you make a thick layer it, it interaction forces between the metal and thick layer is very less when you make it as a thin layer it is very effectively work and it is avoid the corrosion of the metal okay. that is electroplating so for example i want to make a coat i want to make a uh, az coating on the plastic object okay I want to make a coating on plastic object but plastic object is not a conductor so I cannot use a electroplating method for that purpose or I want to make a coating on wood wood is a not non-conductor so I cannot cannot use electroplating method for those objects who are not able to conduct we can still we can coating by using electroless plating method the definition is very simple coating of coat metal on the surface of base metal without using electricity and with using reducing agent some chemicals like reducing agents is called electroplating it only changes 
previously we are using electricity we are here we are not using electricity instead of electricity we are using elect reducing agents so just remember what happened previously what happened previously here the same diagram is there retro plating diagram is there what happening here ag plus ion getting electron this electron from where this electron from where this electron from the battery battery giving electrons so the ag plus ion getting electron and it is converting into ag and making as a layer on copper okay so that means electron source is battery so someone can give electrons not only battery reducing agents also provide electrons what is reducing agent what is reducing agent reducing agent mean reducing agent mean the substance which reduces the others itself it undergo oxidation okay itself it go on oxidation oxidation mean it releases electron because of this electron someone accept that electrons and they involved in reduction that mean reducing your agent also releasing electron just like battery so battery what can do reducing agent also do same thing so by using reducing agent here in, instead of reducing agent we using electricity previously now reducing agent provide the electrons to coat metal ion now coat metal ion converting into coat metal that coat metal is deposited over the over the base metal see here base metal is dipped into a coat metal ions this is the coat metal. now you want to make a nickel coating on the base metal so you want to make nickel coating that's why you are taking a nickel metal ions you just add a reducing agent this reducing agent gives the electrons to nickel when it is gives two electron nickel plus two plus two electrons converting into nickel that nickel will come and come and coat on the base metal you can see here nickel sulfide when you add sodium hypophosphate this is the reducing agent sodium hypophosphate so sodium hypophosphate reduces the nickel plus to nickel sulfide mean nickel plus to nickel plus two to nickel so that mean coat metal is formed this metal is deposited over the surface of the base metal and this reducing agent itself undergo oxidation process so that's why it is oxidation product and forms h2so4 this is the reaction so this is called electrolysis plating you can also con you can also coat non conducting metals also by this process so by that we can make a surface coating so totally we are learned three methods one is hot dipping method hot in hot dipping method galvanizing and tinning these are the explained in the previous video you can watch in my playlist and the next thing is electrolysis electro plating and electrolysis plating by using electricity you can make plating by without you electricity also by using reducing agent also you can make plating those are called electro plating and electro respirating so this is the uh, topic uh, of the corrosion i am going to conclude the corrosion by this video so you can watch all my six videos in my channel so please subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you for supporting